elections. There are a way of electing people into office. It's our way to have a say as to the people who make our laws or run our governments or keep us safe. In November of the year 2000, a local sheriff's election here, I am in Atlanta, Georgia. This, I'm in DeKalb County, Georgia. A local election here in DeKalb County started a chain reaction that exposed corruption in the DeKalb County Sheriff's Department, which is right here over my shoulder. And, and it was all kind of stuff, bribery, uh, extortion of drugs and sex and money, and illegal arrest and detainment, all kind of stuff, it, it, all the way up to murder. Today, as I said, I'm back in Atlanta, and I am going to be telling the story of the murder of Sheriff Derwin Brown. First off, as I said, um, I am here at the DeKalb County Sheriff's Office. This is their jail, their Sheriff's Department. Uh, you know, this is part of Atlanta, so it's a big Sheriff's Department right here next to it. Uh, if you look, this is where they keep all their tactical vehicles and stuff. They even have helicopters up here on the roof. But the, the building itself here is not what we're talking about today. It's what happened here at the Sheriff's Department what this story is going to focus on. In November of 1996, Sidney Dorsey was elected to the coveted position of Sheriff of DeKalb County, Georgia, here in Atlanta. Uh, because, you know, this is in Atlanta and, and it, it's a big city, uh, Sheriff Dorsey oversaw more than 750 deputy sheriffs just here in the metro Atlanta area. I mean, it's, it's an absolutely huge sheriff's department, one of the largest in the country. Sheriff Dorsey was uh, well known around the community, around the area here. Um, and, and even, I don't know if you remember or not, but I did a video a little while back on the Atlanta child murders. If you're not familiar with it, I will link it right up here at the top. Uh, but Sheriff Dorsey, he was the lead detective working on that case in the late 70s, early 80s. He led that task force to find the Atlanta child killer. And uh, he was actually the very first person to enter and search Wayne Williams' home when he was named as their suspect. Going into office, the public here, they really liked Sheriff Dorsey. Uh, they thought he would be fair and impartial. It didn't take long, though, before people started noticing the changes in the DeKalb County Sheriff's Office. And they weren't good changes. There was a medical examiner there. The first thing that uh, Sidney Dorsey did after taking over as sheriff here of DeKalb County, uh, he came in and he fired quite a few deputies that had served with the previous sheriff and had been here for quite a while. He replaced those deputies with his friends and family members, no matter what kind of background they had. It was also discovered that these new deputies, his friends and family, they were being paid twice as much, if not more than that, as the other deputies that worked here in the sheriff's department. At some point in time in his term as DeKalb County Sheriff, uh, Sidney Dorsey crossed paths with Shirley McMichaels. Now, Shirley McMichaels, she was a local bondsman. In fact, uh, the jail is here. Right across the street from the jail is this bail bonds. Back in 2000, this was the Speedy Bail Bond Company. So they crossed paths several times, working to, you know, as she was coming to bail people 
to, to pay people's bonds and that kind of stuff. Uh, over time, Sheriff Dorsey made several advances to McMichaels. She turned down his advances and that pissed off the sheriff. So because Sheriff Dorsey was fuming over it, that she had turned him down, he had his right-hand man, Patrick Cuffey. He was a sheriff deputy, one of his friends. Uh, sheriff Dorsey had Patrick Cuffey find some kind of information on Shirley McMichaels. So it had to be something that was damning because Sheriff Dorsey then used that damning information and extorted Shirley McMichaels, forcing her to have sex with him whenever he wanted, forcing her, to, he, sh she was forced to give him proceeds from her bail bonds company every month. What, whatever he had on her was, was so, was damning enough that she felt like she could not come forward. Talk of Sheriff Dorsey's corruption here in DeKalb County, uh, I mean, it was talked about openly by the people here in the county but without any proof or any witnesses that were willing to come forward, there was nothing that could be done about it. This infuriated a captain who worked here at the Sheriff's Department. His name was Captain Derwin Brown. It infuriated him. He, you know, oh, he wanted to help people. He wanted to, to, to clean it up and he was infuriated that Sheriff Dorsey had this opportunity to come in as a African-American sheriff and straighten this place out and do what was right and, and he came in and did the exact opposite. So Captain Derwin Brown decided to run against Sheriff Dorsey in the November 2000 election. Both Brown and Dorsey both ran good campaigns. Dorsey ran on his police experience and the fact that he had been the sheriff for the past four years. Derwin Brown ran on cleaning up the corruption within the DeKalb County Sheriff's Office and cleaning up the streets. The people of DeKalb County ultimately sided with the captain here, Derwin Brown, because he won big time. He got nearly 75% of all the votes in that election. From the time of the election until the time that the sheriff-elect Derwin Brown would take office, there was about four months in between. So in that time, Derwin Brown had to go off to a sheriff's training school, sheriff school, basically. At the same time, he also began working within the department for a smooth transition. Now. Derwin knew about the corruption. He was not bringing any of that in to his police department. He vowed to clean up the corruption. So he went through all 750 of the employed sheriff's deputies looking for the ones that Sheriff Dorsey had brought in or not vetted or uh, you know maybe were friends or family of his. He went through them all and then he, re he released a list of names. Um, all of those people that he believed could possibly have been corrupted and basically he said these when i take over as sheriff everyone on this list will be terminated and he didn't do it to be mean or to call out the the the, the people who he thought were corrupt he said himself that he did it trying to be respectful to give these people 30 40 50 days notice to let, so they could try to find another job in December, December the 5th of 2000, Derwin Brown, it, now this was three days before his inauguration as sheriff, Derwin Brown completed his mandatory sheriff's training school, the sheriff's school. Ten days after that was to be Derwin Brown's wife. Her name was Phyllis. It was her birthday. So they were kind of doing like a dual celebration. They were celebrating him completing sheriff school and her birthday. So after Derwin graduated from sheriff school, Derwin's wife, Phyllis, and his family, they left and went home to prepare for a celebration at their house. The sheriff-elect Derwin Brown, you know, he stayed behind to finish up all of the, the graduation day festivities here at the sheriff's department. Derwin Brown leaves and on his way home, he stops and he picks up a dozen roses for his wife for her birthday. At 11 p.m. that December the 5th, 2000. 
Derwin Brown pulls in to his driveway. He gets out of his car. He turns around and reaches back inside to grab the dozen roses out for his wife when all of a sudden there's gunshots. A masked intruder had emerged from the bushes there out in front of Derwin Brown's house with an automatic pistol, a Tech 9, and he opened fire while Derwin Brown's back was turned as he was reaching inside of the car. The sheriff-elect, Derwin Brown, passed away before any help could ever arrive. The news spread quickly. The, the, the incoming sheriff was murdered. The current sheriff, Sidney Dorsey, he offered to stay on as sheriff and investigate Derwin Brown's murder until a special election could be held here in DeKalb County to elect a new sheriff, which he would be running again. It didn't turn out quite how he had expected it to, though. Three days after Sheriff-elect Derwin Brown's killing, the current sheriff, Sidney Dorsey, was relieved of his duties the DeKalb County Director of Public Safety was brought in and sworn in as an interim sheriff. A whole task force of high-ranking police officers and officials were all assembled to investigate the sheriff-elect's murder. And it didn't take long before the evidence started pointing where no one expected it to go. It was only a couple of months after uh, Sheriff-elect Brown's murder that Four men were arrested and charged with his killing. Along with the murder charge, they were also charged with numerous corruption charges like embezzlement and racketeering, all kind of stuff. There was a handful of other charges on top of those. The four men arrested were Deputy Sheriff Melvin Walker, a civilian named David Ramsey, another Deputy Sheriff, Patrick Cuffey, who was Sidney Dorsey's right-hand man, and the sheriff himself, Sidney Dorsey. The investigation revealed that it was Melvin Walker who was actually the shooter that night. He waited in the bushes, and when Derwin Brown got to his home, he stepped out and opened fire on him with David Ramsey, the civilian, as his getaway driver. Melvin Walker was promised a promotion by Sidney Dorsey to, to go through with this murder. And David Ramsey, who, like I said, he was a civilian. He did not work for the Sheriff's Department. He was just a bad dude. He was promised a career, a position inside of corrections, working inside of the jail here. Now, because the state focused solely on trying to get Sidney Dorsey, Melvin Walker and David Ramsey were both acquitted. Patrick Cuffey was given immunity to testify against Sidney Dorsey. And they concluded that Sidney Dorsey ordered the hit on Derwin Brown because of his bitterness. It was out of bitterness that he had lost the election to him. And it was also to stop Derwin Brown's corruption investigation that it had already started. He, even though he had not been sworn in as sheriff yet, it had already started. But Derwin Brown was working with the district attorney and it, it, I mean, it was already going on. And it was to, to halt that, to stop it, because that investigation would most certainly have led back to Sidney Dorsey, and he couldn't let that happen. So he ordered this hit on Derwin Brown. On July the 10th of 2002, former Sheriff Sidney Dorsey was convicted of ordering Derwin Brown's assassination in order to obstruct the expected probe into the corruption that was occurring inside of the DeKalb County Sheriff's Department here. Former Sheriff Sidney Dorsey was sentenced to life without parole on the murder conviction. He also was sentenced to an additional 23 years for separate charges of racketeering and uh, violations of his oath of office as an elected official. The once former sheriff of DeKalb County, uh, you know, he'll never get out of prison. Sometime later on after the fact, they would go on to hold that special election and a new sheriff was elected 
who did clean up all the corruption inside of the DeKalb County Sheriff's Office. I guess it depends on who you ask as to whether the Sheriff's Office here is corrupt or not. As some people would tell you it is, some people would tell you it's not. Today, uh, the DeKalb County Sheriff's Department has grown even larger. At that time, like I said, there was about 750 deputies. Uh, it's grown probably twice that amount here in 2021. As you've seen, these guys have everything. They have the APC vehicles. Uh, like I said, you can see the helicopter up there on the roof. This is a massive, massive facility, which this is, also, this is their jail too. So they're, you know, inmates are housed inside of here. It's, this is a crazy, crazy story. Uh, you know, how, how, how many other times have you ever heard of a sheriff taking out another sheriff who, yeah, I, it just, that doesn't happen that often. That's why I thought it, this would be a good story to tell you guys today. 17 years later, an embarrassment, uh, a major embarrassment would hit the DeKalb County Sheriff of the time again. Um, in 2017, DeKalb County Sheriff Jeffrey Mann was arrested in Atlanta's Piedmont Park for running up to a couple of Atlanta police officers, dropping his pants and flashing them, the front side of him, not his rear end, the front of him. He flashed them and then ran away. Uh, of course, they caught up to him and tackled him, but oh my goodness, just like a sheriff having another sheriff killed, I've never heard of a sheriff being a flasher and of course he's no longer the sheriff and it is a complete embarrassment for the DeKalb County Sheriff's Department. <laughs> oh man, he flashed himself. Wow. Really, that's it though. I appreciate you guys for watching. This is, uh, we're, we're just getting started in 2021. So there'll be a lot more stories to come. Thank you all. I really appreciate it. If you're new here, go down and click that subscribe button. Take it a step further. Hit that notification bell icon. That way you guys get notified every time I upload a video. If you want to help support the channel, check out the links in the description box below. You know, consider maybe supporting with even just a dollar a month on Patreon. Everything, that, that helps. Thank you all. I'll see you again tomorrow. Please stay safe and stay healthy.